Yet again, another official source, this one from the very top of the American government, has declared that Ivanka Trump is guilty, as well as her husband Jared and about a dozen other Trump officials, of a very serious federal crime, a violation of serious federal law. It's just another bad piece of news for Ivanka as she tries to hide away from all of her scandals during the Trump years. I want to read you some of this reporting. It says here, breaking. Numerous senior Trump officials, including Ivanka Trump, Jared Kushner, Stephen Miller, Mark Meadows, Kellyanne Conway, and Kaylee McEnany, were found to have violated the Hatch Act following our complaints against them. And it notes here, 13 senior Trump administration officials violated the Hatch Act, according to a report from the U.S. Office of Special Counsel that was released on Tuesday. 11 of those officials allegedly violated the act by campaigning on behalf of President Trump's re-election during 18 official interviews or media appearances. And and two of them committed violations related to 2020 Republican National Convention, the report said. The agency, which is charged with investigating Hatch Act violations, also found that some Trump administration officials intentionally ignored the law's requirements and tacitly or expressly approved of senior administration officials violating the law. So basically, Ivanka and the rest of these ghouls knew that they cannot mix their official White House jobs with political campaigns. You got to keep those two things totally separate. Ideally, you shouldn't do any political campaigning if you have an official White House job. But if you do, you have to keep it 100 percent unambiguously disconnected from your official White House role. You cannot both be a servant for the people working at the White House and expressly partisan in favor of your candidate. And mistakes happen. Mistakes happen all the time. Jen Psaki has made some mistakes in this regard. So have other people in both Republican and Democratic administrations. But what this is showing is a total disregard for the law. And it shows how Ivanka and Jared and all the rest are just 100% grifting criminals who knowingly use the White House to enrich themselves and knowingly use taxpayer dollars and a system that's there to serve everyone, regardless of the fact that they're a Democrat or a Republican or an independent, or they support a third party. And they use that for naked partisanship. What's going to make you really angry about this, though, is that this is probably going to lead to nothing. What most of the people are noting is that the OSC, which is very, very important, does have the power to declare people guilty of serious federal violations doesn't really have the power to enforce it all that much, especially when the people are no longer working for the federal government. Most of these people don't work for the federal government anymore. They all got bounced out in disgrace after Donald Trump lost by 7 million votes. And so there's almost nothing that can be done to actually hold them to account for the serious violations they levied against the American people and against the system of American democracy against the taxpayers and all of that. And so what needs to happen is all of these losers need to be held to account in any way we can. One, some people are noting that new legislation needs to go through Congress to give the OSC, to give these people much more teeth to declare people guilty and then carry it forward to have the courts hammer them, to have funds taken back, fines levied, actual financial and criminal consequences for people like Ivanka. But bigger than that, immediately, we can't forget. Just because they got away with this one doesn't mean that most of these people haven't committed crimes related to other things that they can face consequences for. Whether it's Ivanka's corporate crimes, whether it's January 6th stuff, whether it's other crimes at the White House, who knows? The point is accountability needs to happen. And the biggest thing of all, don't give any of these dirty dozen and Donald more power. If they get back into the White House and they don't even have to worry about winning again, they're going to be even more corrupt. That's scary.